I, I don't know, this hair This hair still has me feeling very roaring 20s, but good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are, no matter what time it is, hey friend, welcome to my channel, and if you're an old friend, welcome back to my channel, it's been a while, so let's catch up. Today we're here to review the Glam Like X Buddy Boop, the full collection. Oh my god, are these pigmented? One thing I can say about Glam Light is she gonna put all her pigment in these palettes. Like, all right, so now I'm actually, I'm just swatching and I'm trying my best to go like one swatch so that I can see how truly pigmented it is. But from like, just from right here, I mean, come on. This is the perfect Valentine's. With the black, you can make it anti-Valentine's. Like, ugh. Oh, I'm about to have so much fun. It is so soft. Oh, that is gorgeous. Who, what's this one? Lucky Girl? Oh, God. Now, the shade, what is this? The shade Icon, I don't know if I can do too much with it because of my skin tone. But it looks more like a transition shade, I would say. But so far, ugh, I have no complaints. Alright, so we're going in with the shades Major Sass, I'm a Boob, and Ooh La La. And Ooh La La is perfectly named because, I mean, Ooh La La. Like, look at that. Outrageous. Ooh! Major size shows up on my skin so sexy. Now, wait a minute. Oh, no, not. I wasn't planning on using this today. I'm, oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Hold on. I'm a boob. That true, true red. Yeah. Yeah. And this one, ooh la la, is the one I've been waiting to put on. Ooh. Oh, come on, highlighter, topper shade. Funny enough, I thought that was going to be my favorite shade. So far, it's Major Sass. And, um, I don't think she has no competition right now. Hold on now. So here we have Irresistible. Then this shade is called Power and Pearls. And this one is Boop Love. Now, me personally, I can't see Boop Love working for me and i'm on the lighter skin side for my people so i don't know if this is gonna work for everybody but um i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it anyway it is just supposed to cute i'm probably gonna use it tomorrow morning when i do my makeup now power and pearls Ooh, 
I mean, it's like butter on a hot pan. Oh, I wish. Oh, my goodness. And now I'm going to go ahead and try Boot Love. Yeah, no, that, that didn't do anything for me. Nothing. Yeah, that, that, that one. That one's the throwaway for me. Boop Love is a no-go for me. Next. So the final three shades are Wink and Giggle, which is this one here. Then this one is Classy Chic. And then this one is adorably named Pudgy. Now, Pudgy may be in the running for my favorite. I don't know. I just I just love these. These shimmery chrome shades. Child. Yeah, we, uh, Wink and Giggle disappeared on my skin. It's like I took a cigarette ash and rubbed it on me because it, 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 it does nothing for me. Also, classic, no, I'm sorry, classy chic. Uh, it's like an ice skater. You know how they just glide across the ice and just look like they're floating? It's amazing. And then last but not least, pudgy. Well, pudgy is more so a highlighter shade. Like, that's immediately what my mind went to. Alright, so now I'm going to let you guys see what the swatches look like on my arm. Yeah, as you can see, out of this entire pan, only two of them don't work. So, I say it's money well spent. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this micellar water. Oops. Glare much? Okay. We're going to take this micellar water and put it on one of these cotton ovals and wipe my face because I have been doing makeup every morning at the ass crack of dawn for no reason other than to put out content. So I just want to make sure I took off everything. I'm going to use my Betty Boot mirror, which is now going to be my official mirror for the foreseeable future, unless they come out with another collection that's near and dear to me, but I don't think they will. So I have thoroughly soaked this cotton oval around and I'm just going to wipe off my face. As you can see, I'm super shiny today. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, okay. So as you can see, I'm sporting a rather peculiar hairstyle for me. I pinned my hair up just for the occasion, because, you know, <sighs> why not? All right, so this collection, if you want to get exactly what I got, I got the full PR box, and I got the lenticular motion bag. The full PR box does retail for $118. The bag is sold separately. You will not be able to get it in either the PR box or the regular box. The bag is $35 on its own. And what's included inside the PR box is the Boop A Doop palette. This palette does retail for $32. Also, the Boop Mascara. This retails for $15. The Bring On The Boop Lip Kit retails for $14. The Betty Boop Eyelashes retail for $12. And the Betty Boop Blush Duo, this retails for $14. And then last but not least, the mirror, which is of Betty Boop and her body is the handle. And it said hard, perfect for Valentine's Day. This retails for $25. All in all, it's going to cost you $118 plus $135, which is going to be $150. $150-ish, a little over $150 once you add tax. So if you have a code or you know someone with the code, you put that in, you can take another 10% off, which I did. Get you some friends who got a coat. Now, what we're going to do now, first we're going to do my brows. And, I don't know, we're just going to chit-chat and let's catch up. All right, so the first thing I want to do is just uh, set my brows using the Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter. Um, this is a new product I purchased. This is a new product I purchased that I've just been trying to, just trying out. Like, I know I don't have the thickest eyebrows, but... I've been wanting to try it for a while. I was like, why not? Is it always funny? More than likely. Did I buy it anyway? Absolutely. 
So while that's setting, let me tell you about some Betty Boop facts. Betty Boop, it says Betty Boop is an animated character designed by Grim Natwick at the request of Max Fleischer. She originally appeared in Talk Talk Cartoon and Betty Boop film series, which were produced by the studios. What I know is back in the day, there was this girl named Baby Esther White. Baby Esther had been performing at these clubs, girl, boop, boop, doop, and singing in baby voices all around the town. Then some other woman came, watched her show. This woman saw her show and liked it so much, she stole it. You need to leave. Then she went to her side of town. It was boop, boop, doop, and singing like a baby all over. And she got so famous. And you probably know who I'm talking about. What's, what's the girl's name? I, I don't know. I, I don't know her name. Let me, let me see if I can find her name. Helen Kane. Helen Kane is the woman who saw baby Esther and then pretty much took her idea and ran with it. And of course, because baby Esther was a black woman and during that time she wasn't gonna get no help so she tried and and didn't win the case and baby esther got to carry on doing her shtick as if it was her own using now the precisely my brow also for benefit um and then i guess someone saw baby uh not baby esther someone saw helen kane doing it and that's when the betty boop cartoon had come about from what i read about it when she found out that they were doing a, the Betty Boop cartoon, she herself tried to go and sue, saying that they stole her likeness and she didn't get permission and she wanted to be compensated. And I was like, hmm, isn't that the pot calling the kettle? <laughs> anyway, she tried to sue. She didn't win. Boo-hoo. Yeah, you know, so I'm just going to do my under right now. Um... Not a lot of people know this, but I have loved Betty Boop since I was like in middle school. And for reference, I'm a fossil, so that was quite some time ago. I actually, um, my first debit card was a Betty Boop debit card. Um, I had shorts with Betty Boop. I had shirts with Betty Boop. I have a license plate. With Betty Boop on it. And my love for this big head gal goes so far. One, because when I was little, my mom used to think and say that I look like Betty Boop. And I'm gonna put a picture for reference. Because, you know, I was very pale um, with big eyes and, and curly black hair. I mean, you would have came to the conclusion too, wouldn't you? But anyway. Yeah, she's been my favorite character for a very long time, and I'm, I was just like, I said I was on like a buying freeze, like, I wasn't going to buy anything anymore, and then here comes Glam, like, like I bet you will. And they was right, I did. The whole collection. Got it. Love it. Alright, so, it is currently February the 12th, so I kind of want to do like a sultry valentine's look with this palette and i think i will be able to with the colors that were put in there but i also kind of want to play with like the shimmery like light-hearted side of it as well so i don't know i guess we'll see what i do once i get to like doing it because for right now or you know maybe i'll keep it to the dark side and then do like the pinks and the reds tomorrow morning when I do my makeup and have that as content on another day. Alright, so the base is down. Now it's time to get to the start of the show. Let's get into this palette. And as with most glam light products, there's a little bit of fallout, which, you know, I, I've grown to expect, so that doesn't really bother me. I would actually be surprised if there wasn't any fallout, you know? And what I can say is Glam Light has, I think they have my, they have my favorite formula for eyeshadow. Like, second to them, I would say is Blend Bunny. But like, 
I mean, look at that. Of course, like, I'm gonna bring this up, of course, but I just wanted to lay this down first. Ugh, look at it. It's so soft, so gorgeous. And look at the payout. Like, this was, I think I tapped my brush back into the color maybe twice. You know what? I, I think it's very much worth the buy. Let me go ahead and blend this out. Or, you know, soften the edges. I took the color off the brush, by the way. And I'm going to use that same brush. And I'm just, you know, lightly go along the edge. So, um, I think I should just tell you where I've been lately. Because I think the last time I posted a video was... Actually, I did recently post a video. Um, but I didn't... I don't think I talked too much about what I've been up to lately. So why don't we play catch up? So most recently, um, I got a new job, which takes up most of my time now. So I put myself on a very strict schedule as far as, far as like content is concerned. That way I, I can try to balance it out. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to say what this new job is because that's my business and I don't want my business out there. But so far it's going well. You know, I don't have any complaints. I'm now going in with the shade with a super fluffy bar, uh, brush. It's I'm a boot. Like I said, I wanted this to be a more sultry Valentine's look. So hopefully we can get it right. Yeah, I think that red goes so nice. Now, I'm afraid of putting too much because I don't want it to like look like like I, a Halloween look, like I cut myself. But I do want to bring this red all the way across. So I'm just taking it slow. So yeah, um, I, child, I forgot. So I have been working and finding the balance. I did recently move. It's it's been very hectic. I I'm forcing myself to do content because I find myself just like doing the same thing. So I'm trying to like branch out. So like I'm doing like so what I do is I get up in the morning and I do my makeup, right? I, of course I record it and then like if you go to my Instagram, I I like upload those in like to three videos. With these three videos, I break it down. Like, maybe one video is the eyeshadow. The next video is pretty much the base routine. And then the last video is, like, lips and lash and, and highlight. If I remember to record it. Like, it's a vibe if I actually do remember to record it. Now I'm just going back in with the shade Little Black Dress. Just to make sure nothing was muted out or muddled or whatever they call it. I want my colors to shine. And then I think I want to take major sass and just lightly kiss the center of my eye. Let's see. Y'all remember what the color looked like, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Did that not just oh my god hold. I I'm looking at it and I'm seeing like bits of like blue. I think that's lavender. Obviously there's red in it. Oh my god. I don't know, is there a sh there is like a slight shift. Very easy to put on, as you can see. I'm just using my finger because I feel like that gets the best payout with this type of pigment. And then I'm just gonna go back over with the red. And honestly, that's all I'm gonna do for this eye. I think that's how I'm gonna leave this eye. Of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up this part right here because it's a little messy. Yeah, I like this, a little 
sultry valentines. I don't need that at all. Okay, so that's this eye. Now I have to sit here and think, do I want to do a separate look for the other eye? And I think I do. Okay, so I did finally make up my mind, and I'm going to go in with the shade Boop-A-Doop. Her signature line, why not? Okay. Am I doing it? I'm really, I'm doing it. Okay. Oh my god, look how pigmented that is. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to add any more pigment. I just want to blend out what's here. Oh, my God. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh. I don't... Does it do justice? Make sure that's clean. But... Oh. Okay. Blending. Yeah, this is giving two very different Valentine's dates for two, for two very different type of people. One is like dark and mysterious and sultry. But then this one is giving like I'm sweet and I'm innocent, blah, blah, blah. Take me out. What I hope though is that like, I hope this doesn't stain my eye because reds and pinks have a tendency to linger. And I don't want that. I just, I want the pigment when I want it, and then I, I, I want to be done with it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I think I'll use the shade. Oh, am I going to use Irresistible, or am I going to use Icon? Let's see. I think I'll use Icon, because Irresistible is... More like a brown color. Yeah, Icon is more so a pale pink. Which I said would be a transition color. So let's see. Let's, yeah, just soften it enough that... Yeah. yeah that, that came together nice. It's very pale for me, though. Like, I couldn't use this for anything but a transition shade. Like, putting that color back in. Yeah, they brought, they brought the color back, right? So, actually, what I did, I did just barely touch the brush into the shade Little Black Dress. Just so I could add some depth to this. Just a little. That way, it came off more so burgundy than black. And I'm just going to... Oh. Mix it, mix Lord. Blend that in. Yeah. And now, hmm, now I need to add a shimmer. But do I add ooh la la or do I add pudgy? Let's see. Ooh la la or pudgy. So this is ooh la la. This is pudgy. I think I'm gonna go with ooh la la and then put pudgy here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So this is this is ooh la la. Ugh, she's taking it. Oh my god, she's she's so pretty, you guys. Ugh. This is a, this is date night material. Just using a brush so I can have more control of where I place it. Ugh. Okay, now I'm going to add a liner. Now, this collection didn't come with a liner, so I'm just going to pick any liner that I have. Because I didn't care for the liner from the ghost face, it won't be a glam light liner. It's going to be a crayon case liner. 
do it just the same. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is test out the mascara. It is called the Boop Alicious Full Volume Mascara. If you look at the wand, it has pretty, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's thick. I wouldn't say it's thin, but like, uh, take a look at it for yourself. So I'm just going to put it on the way I normally put it on. Okay. Okay, Glam Light, I see you. Okay. That coated the top lashes very well. I'm not mad at that. I'm done. No, I'm just purchasing them today. Let's try the other one. And then I'm gonna do my base. And then come back to camera and do the lip. Yeah, that... It separates the lashes just fine. I don't see an issue with clumping. Now, I'll go ahead and get this like a full day wear test tomorrow. Because I'll be doing makeup from, I'll be in makeup from what, like 8 in the morning till 8 at night? 12 hours, we'll see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and do my base. And then I'm going to come back and do my lash and lip and blush. Okay, so the base is done. Now I want to get into the blush. Again, we got this cute, wait, does it move? Where am I tripping? It? Nope, it doesn't move, but it's shiny in it. It makes that sound. So, what I think I'm going to do is put the darker of the two shades on the, so I think I'm going to put this shade on this side and this shade on this side. Or maybe I'll mix it and put them on both, but I'm going to start with separating it instead. Let's start with the... Let's start with the lighter shade, the one that has Betty Boop's face on it, which I'm sad about messing up, but you know. Fallout. The way I like to put my blush, I like to bring it all the way up and be dramatic. Yeah, it's got just a kiss of pink, right? I'm probably going to go on up just a little bit more. Right up here. I don't know if it's showing on camera that well, but it's showing really nice. Like, in the handheld mirror. Yeah, I'm going to fix that up with a little bit of um, foundation, Lord. All right. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead with the other side, using the other side of the brush. And then we're going to tap that off. Now I'm going to put it on this side. Now she is pigmented. She is very pigmented. Wow, she's, I like it though. Like she's very pigmented. I'm not mad at that. What I'm gonna do though is still go over. what I do with the brush? Hold on. Found it. I'm gonna go back over with the foundation brush and just clean that up. Cause I, I like a lot of blush, but I like it to be soft. Right where the concealer meets it. So I didn't put any other product when I just used what was left over. And I think that gives it a softer look. Okay, so now that's on. Let's go ahead and get the... Let's do the under eye. So I'm actually going to do a black coal liner on this side. Then I'm going to use this brown liner on this side. This is one size, and then this one is Beats by Deb. So let's start with the Beats by Deb side. I'm going to smudge that in a minute. Going back in under the waterline with the shade boop a -doop. And then I'm just going to finally put that shade icon right up under that. You want to make sure you're matching the shades that you put on your lower line 
to the ones you put on your actual eyelid. Going in with the shade Little Black Dress. And then finally I want to take the shade I'm a Boo and put that right under this. For highlight, I'm actually going to take the shade Pudgy, which is in the eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to put that on both sides since it didn't come with the highlight. Ugh, it's perfect. Look at it. It's, you can't see it. No, it's there. Can't see it. No, it's there. Blinding. Let me be adventurous and put classy chick on the other side. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then for the actual, let's see. You know, always gotta get your brow bone. And then I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'll put Pudgy on the center, or what is this, the bridge of my nose? And I'm actually gonna put Ooh La La on the tip. So the highlighter's on. Now I just want to line the lips. I don't overline my lips anymore, so I'm just gonna follow its natural shape. Okay, very soft. Very pigmented. Now I'm not sure if a, a all red lip is gonna go with this look. I probably would've went with something more neutral, but we're here to test the product. So, ooh, it, it, oh God. That's, it's, it's not a pleasant smell. Great, but it's plastic. Now, if the whole look was like just this, this would eat, right? But the red lip with this look, it doesn't really go. But what I can say about this, I love the actual shade and tint of red it is. However, when I put it on, I can taste that nasty plastic smell. I'm gonna take it off and then I'm just gonna put it on a neutral lip that's gonna work with both these eyeshadows. Give me just a second. So this is the final look. Here we've got Sweet and Innocent on the left side. Probably looks right for you, but it's like left. Like, oh, yes, buy me flowers, I need love. But on this side, this side, she don't need you. She takes care of herself. She loves it over here. You want dinner? I'll pay for it. Now wait, I may have took it a little too far. Let's rewind that. This side, she goes out because she wants to, not because she needs to. Her bank account is stacked too. I mean, just look at the night and day. I mean, come on. You. Okay. So let me go ahead and give you my final thoughts and then I have to see if all the makeup fits inside the bag because my friend Nicole asked me. So number one, this is a must buy. I don't care what you're going through, you need this. She is adorable, she's cute, she's large. But as you know, previously I've been using this one, which will make a return in Halloween, but this, oh this is my everyday palette now, this, worth your money. Next up we have the lashes. I didn't think I was going to actually like these lashes. I love them. I absolutely love them. They're full. They're soft. They give glam. They give drama. Also worth the buy. Blush duo. I mean, look at the material. I think each blush is gorgeous. I think on my next look, I'm going to mix them and I think I'm going to fall in love with it even more. I would say if you don't already have these colors, worth the buy. The lip kit. It's 
it's a pass. Um, I'm not a red lipstick kind of girl. I think if you already have other red lipsticks, I don't think you need it. It had a terrible, terrible, like, chemically plastic smell. Who wants that? I'm going to keep it because it's cute, but there's never an instance where I'm going to use this again. Maybe the pencil, though. Pencil we're going to keep. And then the lenticular motion palette. This is an absolute buy. I want you to buy this quickly. Like, let me let you, let me let you see it. Like, this is stunning. This is gorgeous. This is the moment. Honestly, only one color in here I know I'm not going to use because it would make me look like a cigarette dropping, you know, like ash, mummy dust, Popeye's biscuit. Too far. Too far. I get it. Okay. Whatever. Run. Run. Or if you're like me, roll. Roll and get it because this, this is the money maker. Now, Nicole asked me would all of the products fit in the bag. Let's see. This is the bag. I'm going to try to fit all the products in here. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, 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 oh. No, no, come on now. Okay. I, this bag is some assembly required. And... Okay, and then... I put it all upside down. Okay. All right. So once you figure out which way it's supposed to go, put your bag together. Nope. You go here and you go here. All right. Boom. The bag is together. Oh, and I just, okay. So the bag, I put it together. So now it has like these pockets. You can put stuff places whatever but this is what i just noticed right at the top here more space so for sure this has to fit right let's give it a try let's start with the mirror the mirror i'm going to stick in the zipper pocket does the mirror fit mirror fit zip that up cool now the palette palette in does it fit yes then the blush Blush in, sit nice, lashes, other pocket, and then the lip. This comfortably sits this, and it would sit also, I would say, like, my foundation, my setting spray, all of that. It's a good travel bag, like, like I can picture myself, you know, just skedaddling wherever I need to go. Yeah, all of it's in here. Love that sound. So it fits. Now, the next thing my friend Kimani asked was, is it fluffy girl friendly? Will the bag sit around me comfortably? For reference, I am in a manual wheelchair, so I wear my bags to the front anyway. So I will put it on like so. It's, it's short. It, it would suit me because I need stuff to go this way, but like this, it 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 doesn't it doesn't hang the way it's supposed to. No, no, no. I wouldn't say it's fluffy girl friendly, but it does fit all your stuff. So at this point, would I recommend you getting the full collection? Absolutely, yes. I loved it. I have a very soft spot in my heart for Betty Boop. Even if you don't, it's good makeup. Oh, and also, the highlight came from the palette. Let me say that again. The highlight came from the palette. Y'all better go ahead and get you some. 
Well, I want to thank you so much for making it to this part of the video. This is officially the end. I want to thank you for sticking it out with me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. That way, whenever I post, you'll be notified and you can see what I've got coming. I promise I'm going to be more consistent. I'm, my goal is to get at least four videos out a month. Um, I know it, it seems like such a small number, but honestly, it, it is a lot. But I think now with the schedule I have, it'll 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 come along great. But again, I just want to thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, friends. Julie, do the uh the thing.